Hello friends and colleagues and welcome back to the BCP channel. Now, we just received uh, a bit of an update um, for the American content. Yes, finally, after one month and two weeks, Tre New York Trenton has had an update. Oh my god. So, uh, yes, we're going to have a look at that and talk about what else has been updated, uh, such as Training Centre, Axella, and uh, whatever else. So, without any further ado, let's talk about the core, because we can't start without a core. Um, cool. So, fixed trains glowing or flickering when in dark stations and tunnels when it is raining. Now, this change pretty much extends to the Boston Providence route, Harlem Line, uh, Long Island Ball Road, I need to see Trenton, and that's it and that is access well what do you need to access and uh, ATC that's not air traffic control oh dear that must be a new record two crap jokes in a row half, 10 seconds after each other so various improvements and fixes to the ACES and access fixed access from showing a negative speed enforcement in non access territory when active Access now falls back to ATC if both systems are enabled, but not in an access territory. If ATC is not cut in, but access is, access limits to non-active or error speed, 79 miles per hour. Entering access territory no longer triggers a penalty when access is not cut in. Improved handling of alarm resets such as if ATC causes the alarm, and then access becomes active system. You can't, couldn't reset the ATC alarm since your acknowledgement went to the a access system. That that boggled my mind. Many many updates to systems with variations between access and access. Fixed bad behaviour where certain locations on the Trenton route would cause uh, access to fail. Adjusted required brake pipe pressure for suppression rate. So let's start off with the most useless one. Uh, that being training centre. If it's not an extension, why bother? Um, so, improvements to visuals and collisions inside the training centre building. So let's go and have a look at that uh, first. They still spelt it wrong. That's wrong. It should be C E N T R E. It starts spelling things right. I don't see any difference. Uh, didn't we used to have chairs here? I, I literally. That's a bit pointless, isn't it? I don't think many people use this route, so what's the point of, like, having people in if, uh, you know. People only use this route on the outside, so it's a bit pointless, isn't it? Uh, but they've added NPCs throughout the training centre building for some reason. Don't make eye contact; they get nervous. Right, old matey boy behind the reception, not doing much, is he? Oh my God, he's bold. What? <laughs> Ha 
<laughs> oh, somebody clip that, please. Uh, he's bald. You right, Baldy? Don't call me Baldy. Is that a wig or? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Fixed floating trees and removed scenery that was placed over roads slash roundabout. How do I get out of it? Um, the fixed billboards facing the wrong direction prevent them from being seen. Tunnels should now have correct lighting throughout the day night cycle. Player can no longer walk through various rocks and pillars. Okay, so the special Easter event. We're running an Easter themed mastery event across our training centre starting April 5th and open all month. More information on this event will be shared tomorrow with details on how you can take part in the special in game event. And then Easter themed decals. Pointless. Uh, who cares about decals? Not me. Um, I don't really use livery crate as it's crap. So. Asella. Ella. Ella. E. 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 No. There you go. So let's take. Norman. Uh, uh, that one. We'll take that one on a nice 4th of April. On a clear, mm. clear day. So, a seller. Fixed an issue preventing safety systems from resetting after being tripped. With access cut in, if approaching a stop signal, the ATC cab aspect will degrade to a stop signal aspect when within range of the signal. Approaching a stop signal with access cut in, the ATC cab aspect will downgrade to a stop signal aspect when in range of the signal. Overspeed and suppression indicators will now update correctly. Fixed an issue caused by enabling safety systems before activating the cab. <laughs> I hope they've also. St oh, fucking hell, that was laggy. Cab is now activated. We now turn safety systems on. We can also talk about what they've fixed on the Trenton, which isn't a lot. I need to check the um, timetable, see if they made changes to that. <laughs> so, introductions, tutorials, and scenarios. Improvements to tutorials for the ALP 46 and ACS 64. The closed doors objective will now require the doors to be closed in the Amfleet cab car introduction. Added press the brake cut-in objective to the cab to the race scenario. Ensured locos are correctly set up for ATCS and access introductions. Reduced NPC aggression towards a player by 75%, so passengers will no longer bump the player away from the introduction starting point. Signalling. A large range of fixes across the route covering improved aspects to Increased player speeds, fixed signals showing invalid aspects and other visual errors. Root art. I'll get onto that in a minute. Just plug in something into something. You can go in there. There we are. So, root art. Adjusted and tweaked lighting at multiple stations where it needs correcting or appears too dark. Connected overhead electrification poles at Harrison Station and improved placements at Sunnyside Yard. Now you can see why we are at Sunnyside and we're going to put that to the theory. Um, 
if it's uh, hopefully not crap still. Let's go. So yeah, there's definitely overhead wires here. and see what happens I suppose. Um, wish us luck. <laughs> Fix two signals on track 18 at Penn Station that were not attached to the track. Removed helium inside trees and cars to prevent floating scenery and vehicles across the route. Improvements to reduce how often you see the white light at the end of the tunnels. Hey, I mean there's always light at the end of the tunnels apparently. Added weatherboard with weather? Added whistle boards to the East River Tunnel entrance. Cool. We'll see some of that, hopefully. Yeah, maybe. Gameplay. Player can no longer escape from Edison Station. Good luck. Player can no longer walk through benches at Elizabeth Station. Added go fires to service timetables in Scenario E. What? NPC will now correctly disembark from all stations. Improvements made to various formations so doors now correctly open on the correct sides. Signal heads in the East River Tunnels now have six lamps. With red, yellow and green lamps on the bottom heads. White centre lamp on spider signal at Newark Penn Station Track 5 will no longer light up. Updates to railway station track speed restrictions. Updated signal head on track for it at lack interlocking to have red, yellow and green lamps. Don't know what that means. Fixed issues with the signal after the car wash at Sunnyside Yard. General improvements and fixes made to signals to prevent flashing white aspects. Fixed motion blur on wheels on Amfleet vehicles and cab car. Corrected front colour and Amfleet cars. So that's the route in in general. Uh, you know, not much said about timetable, so they'll probably not fix that. However, Matt did say in the forums that they are working on something. However, this is a big however it might not happen but they are definitely looking at it which is good they're being uh, nice and open and honest however some prats on the forums still aren't happy naming no names it looks like they've uh, fixed the flickering screen here as well that's good have the fixed pant traps going up, staying down. Who knows? We shall see. Hopefully. Uh, still no Long Island Railroad stock. That, that's boring. Oh. So yeah, um, don't don't know if they've uh, fixed the cab at uh, the um, bi-level coach uh, lights. We'll have to have a look at that one. Yeah. 
Well, I don't think you'd want to go on... Oh yeah, look, yep, there's overhead wires. Um, it was this spot where there was nothing, and does the panto still go through the ceiling roof thing? Find out in it now. No. Okay, that's been fixed. Coming up to uh, why is it still there? Good, good. Let's uh, look at the signing. Uh, line two. Oh yeah, they've added new new signs. So you got line two. So these are new, and this is new. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Although I don't know why you'd want to blow your horn while going in a tunnel, but whatever. Oh yep, yeah, tunnel tunnel lighting definitely looks better. However, there's still this blue thick Oh no, there's a there's a screen flickering. Disappointing. Won't see why at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, I call bullshit on that one. Yeah, tunnel light baking definitely does look better. Um, we'll come into New York Pen and see if that looks any better. Um, then we'll look at the Alp and whatever else. Uh, actually, let's take the help from New York Pen. Get it set up. Okay. 
fixed passenger door in the lock have been stuck. Traction lock will not update correctly when operating passenger doors. Train doors should now correctly open and close in unison. All together now. Fixed safety system is being active tonight. Being set to cut out. Changed cab desk lock controls to show on and off based on state. Improved EP brake cutting functionality behaviour. Fixed alerter enabled state to take into account reverser being in off and cab display prevent cases of alerters going off in disabled cabs. And that's pretty much it. Um, no, they have not fixed the passenger lights in this. How disappointing. Um, is there a button in cab? Mm -hmm. No, there is not. That's disappointing. Uh, yeah, there's there's no. There's no passenger lights, is there? Yeah, no. There's no passenger lights. That's uh, that's still borgered. Um, so they're going to be sat in darkness. Or bodies. No cab light. Yeah. Poor bugger's got to sit in darkness. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. That's still broken then. Oh, fuck's sake. Buy levels. There's literally no point. Um spawning in but I'll just show them anyway so you know what they look like <laughs> by levels front PIS will change to display the current destination passengers will no longer board the cab through the walls that would be weird updated coupler positions to have inner metal plate touching and adjusted animations from side barriers improved weather materials for rain effects the Metroliner cab car fixed lock both button to correctly close both set of doors ACS 64 fixed doors indicator. So yeah, that's uh, that's all the patch notes um, for this. And uh, it's it was okay. It was no special really. Just fixed ATC and access on most American routes that are in the eastern side of the US, but. Still a lack in the timetable. Hopefully there's one in the works. It might not happen, but there's still hope. And there's nothing like a good bit of hope. Um Is there a button in the in the uh Dubri what's it to turn on lights? If not, that's a bug and needs fixing. Are you passenger lights? Nope. That's just that light there, that's useless. That doesn't help. That's spelt wrong. Uh, don't want cab lights. Cab light marker lights should be off. Wipers, headlights, uh, auxiliary lights. I don't know what that means. No, don't mess with that. No, there's no, uh, no, uh, passenger lights in here. That's, that's a bummer. There should be. What the heck's a Barrier? Nope. <sighs> no passenger lights. Oh. So the... The, the Borg has smalled it. Used to 
be able to play play with that. I guess you can't play with it anymore. Oh, I swear that used to have more options than that. Oh, that's bollocks. What a load of old bollocks. Uh, there's nothing on the PIS. That's a good uh, indication of uh, showing that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> it says absolutely nothing on it. Well done, G DTG. You fixed nothing. Um, anyway, Ooh. that's it for me. I've been BCPRL123. This has been What's in the Update. And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.